Okay, now we're going to navigate through a patient's chart to find past documentation or information that's been charted on a patient. So you'll find the patient you want, so Riley Lab. We'll go into his chart. This is what the main screen will look like on each patient chart. So here at the top, you'll see their name. And this little bar here will give you their medical record number, their location, so it looks like they're in M201B, their gender, age, birth date. Here at this little caution tab, if you select on it, it's their allergy status, if um, allergies have actu actually been documented on a patient. It looks like he doesn't have any allergies, so that's good. To find past documentation that's been charted, you can always go to chart review over here on the left hand corner. Under patient shortcuts, you'll hit chart review, and this will give you a list of procedures that may have been documented against the patient. If it's grayed out, that means nothing's been charted on under, say, dialysis, ED summaries, um, those types of things. If you want to be more specific, if you want, um, say, you want to look up a physician documentation, you can go to All Physician under the Physicians tab, select it, and say OK. It will pull up all of the physician notes that have been charted. So say you want to look at a physician H&P, you can read it through this screen here. If you go select the next screen, next screen, and scroll through it, you can, you'll can you be able to read the whole document. If you want to read it in a document form, you can always come down to this report query, and it'll pull up in a Word document, which is really nice. You can also print this if you right click and select print. So you want to get out of that and you want to go look sit and let's look up some labs. You can hit back and it will bring you back to your physician search. If you go back one more, it will bring you back to your chart review. So, so now you want to go look at your lab. You come down to laboratory and select. And it will show all the labs that have been drawn for that patient. If you want to be more specific, so say you just want to search CBCs and kind of watch their you know, white blood count trend, you can go back and come down to this procedure button. And you can type in, say, CBC, because that's what you're looking for, with a dash. It'll bring up anything that has to do with a CBC. So you'll find the one you want, select it, say OK, and it'll bring up all your CBCs. So you can look through each one if you would like and look at their values. An easier way to also look at all of your lab trends is going back to your little house or the main page for your patient and come down to this interactive care grid, you can see all of their labs here as well. Um, the little icons mean specific things. So the green circle means that um, the results were normal. Your yellow triangle means that there were some abnormals. And red usually means critical. So let's open on up. You can select it, and it will pull up your, looks like your hematology labs that were drawn. And this one was for the 22nd, the 23rd, the 27th. So this is a little easier to look at without having to open up each procedure. You can also look at pain trends, see what they've been charted out through this day. It looks like there was an intolerable pain scale charted here, that's why that's red. So close out of that. And if you want to see their vitals as well throughout their stay, this is another place you can go. If you come back up to your patient shortcuts and you go to your vital signs trend, it will also give you another quick look at all of your vital signs. If you want to look at your INO display, you can click that little icon and it will give you your eyes and O's throughout their stay as well. Their total input, total output, and their balance between the two. From here, if you go back to your little house, it will bring you back to that main screen here. You can look at an overview. Just basic information on the patient. This is usually documented when they first get here. If nothing has been documented against this, then th it won't populate here, obviously. So educational needs, you can find them here. Um, background, patient care info, if they're on any type of precautions, those types of things. Situation, it will tell you admitting diagnosis. Um, also, reason for admission. That usually is the reason the patient states why they're here, not necessarily what the physician said they were here for. Um, their background, admin, health, history, those types of things. Like I said, is if nothing's charted against them, these won't populate anything. So if it's a blank, it's because no one's put anything in yet. Um, growth charts, these are especially helpful for children. 
you can go to their head circumference, length for age, um, weight for age. So those are pretty good when you have a kiddo. And that's chart review on a patient.